Good morning, everyone. It's about 8.04 a.m. Japan time. I just finished getting ready, so I figured, why don't I show you my little setup? Since a lot of you guys always are curious and, and wondering what my whole face routine is, or not routine, I don't know, what I use for my makeup. I really like everything kind of looking very natural, like as if I don't really have much makeup on. So the whole no makeup makeup is my jam. So let me turn you around and show you, okay? Okay, all right, so here is my little setup. I usually always start my face off first with this. I know everyone uses this as a setting spray. I either use this or Caudalie um, face mist. I always like to just start this off before I do my moisturizer and primer and all that good stuff. Most people use this after they do their makeup. I don't because I just, I don't know, I don't. I just like feeling fresh and waking up before I put anything on my face, so yeah. Um, even though I just got out of the shower, but you know, <laughs> even more fresh. Okay, so yeah, this is like the travel size of the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And then I do this right here. This is the Tatcha Supple Moisture Rich Silk Cream. I love this stuff. Um, yeah, so much that look how much I'm almost, I'm almost out of it. Yeah, pretty much almost out. Um, I just use like one little spoonful um, to cover my whole face. And what's great about this moisturizer is that you can, it also can be used as a primer. So it's a two-in-one. Anything that makes my life easier is great. <laughs> Low maintenance, yeah. The next thing that I use is, let's turn that around, is this. This is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation with an SPF 15. I wear amber beige i'm almost out of it it comes with a concealer too which is so crazy look way but like for some reason it's still working i only use this underneath my eyes this is a little bit heavy but a little bit goes a long way so just make sure you don't go heavy handed with this ever since i started using this foundation i've been getting so many compliments on how fresh my face looks um i think i have pretty good skin in general knock on wood right now watch i say that watch a pimple come out but yeah but like like I said, a little bit of this goes a long way. I think if you um, literally go heavy-handed with this, it could look very thick and it could feel very like you have foundation on. What I'll usually do is, let me see. See, not even that much. This little thing right here, that side, that one section, I'll literally just swipe it across my whole face and, it, and then I use the beauty blender to buff it out. And it works great for me. Like I said, I do not like wearing like very heavy foundation and I don't like my face looking like I have a lot of foundation on. I usually just use it to even out my skin, which you know, which is what foundation is supposed to be for. And I use my beauty blender, a wet beauty blender to buff it out. So this little guy right here, like I, I wish there was like a, a little pump of this. So much comes out and it's so unnecessary. I wish, I, mean, I always try to do like half a pump. But I'll use this for, you know, wherever I have little red spots, which is like right around, not red, but like just a little bit more concealing. I'll put it in here, there, and then kind of right around my lips area. So that works great. Sometimes I'll use this underneath my eyes as well. Oh, and then I use this also as a primer for my eyelids when I do my eye makeup, so yeah. And then I have the Bobbi Brown, what is this one? Retouching powder. I don't normally use this every day. I usually use my La Mer, but the La Mer powder um, is just way too big to bring. So I just bring this one along and I put this underneath my eyes to set the, found, the concealer. Um, what do I do after that? The next I'll do is I'll do my lashes. I'll prime them with my Shurimura eyelash curler. And then I'll use the Mr. Lash Booster. I honestly don't really know if this actually does do anything, but in my head it does. So I still continue to do it. So I'll put this on my top lash and bottom lash. On, let that set for a little bit. And then I'll do the Sales Boost, sales Booster from Lancome. This is just an eye primer as well because homegirl needs some help with the eyelashes. I don't do the eyelash extensions or anything like that um, just because I've done it once before and I felt like I lost a lot of eyelashes, which, you know, kind of defeats the purpose because I'm trying to get lashes. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'll use that as a primer. Let that sit for a second. Then I do this Guerlain, Guerlain, I don't really know how to say it. Um, mascara, this is in waterproof, that's what it is. Um, this is our recommendation for my girlfriend Brenda. She uses the regular one, um, not the waterproof, but for, um, I decided to get the waterproof just because my lashes never really stay curled that well. And I feel, I feel like this has really like helped me out a lot. So really good. Um, and I will definitely repurchase this once I'm out. So I will do that layer, let that dry up a little bit. And then I do this, the Marc Jacobs. Which one is this? Can you see it? Yeah, the Velvet Noir. I got this from my girlfriend Claire. She had an extra one, so she gave it to me and I finished it off with this. Um, good stuff too. And then, for my bottom lashes, I use this is a Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I love this stuff. This is in dark brown. All my other lashes here, like these two, are in the darkest black or like black. But on my bottom lashes, I like to use brown so it's a little bit softer. It doesn't smudge on me or anything like that. So I've been using this for like years and years and years now. Um, so yeah, that's my eyelashes. What else here? My eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Caramel. I do have my eyebrows semi-permanently feather tattooed. Um, so I just use this just for extra definition and to kind of warm it up since my hair is on the warmer side. And then I use this brow gel just to kind of finish it all off, this YSL. This is in number two. So yes, the Brow Couture from YSL. And then as for eyes, I hope you guys aren't bored yet. I use the Laura Mercier for all over my eyelid. As you can see, it's been used. This is in Vanilla Nuts. And then, oh, I love this one. This is what I use all over my, like my eyelid. This is Burberry in Almond. Yes, number 103, good stuff. And then, on top of that, I blend that out with my MAC brushes here. I don't really know, oh, 124. Um, so I'll use this for the vanilla nuts, which goes all over my eyes, um, especially my brow bone. And then I'll use this brush from MAC as well. I don't really know the number anymore. It kind of rubs off. But it's basically this one right there. Do you see it? I'll use that. I don't know what the number is. Sorry, guys. But yeah, I'll use that on to put on my eyelid. And then I blend it with another MAC 224. And then right on top of that, after that's all blended out, I'll use this Smashbox, another blending brush. And I'll use my MAC, my MAC, my Marc Jacobs Bronzer in 102. And I put that right above it just to kind of blend it all out. And I'll show you in a second how it looks. Let me show you how it looks. See, it's very, I guess you could say natural and smoky and all that good stuff. Oh, with, also with this, I use this brush as well for like the underneath to kind of connect, not to kind of, to connect what's happening on above my eyelid to the bottom. And I put that all around. And that's again with the Burberry Almond. So now the eyes are done. And now the rest of the face. I'll use this Marc Jacobs, same bronzer that I used on my eyelid um, to kind of intertwine everything together. Marc Jacobs, I use that. I use this. This is a MAC brush in 135. I use this to apply my bronzer. And then I use this as a blush. This is MAC. Can you see it? Look at this. This is in Harmony. Um, yeah my blush and I apply that with the NARS brush right here you could tell I, did, I just use it so excuse that and then after I apply this just so it'll look soft and pretty I use this Burberry in Earthly I love this stuff um, I put that right above it just so it's nicely blended so that's the color I 
that. Then I apply that with this other MAC brush off in 129. So yeah. And then once I'm done with the blush, I use this Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder, Powder Duo. And I put that right here with this MAC brush in 137. This is a great brush, by the way. Good for like doing just powder or highlighting or anything like that. So soft. Um, I'll show you how I where I put this. And with this brush, I literally just put it right around there just to give it a little bit of a highlight. Um, so yeah. Well, let's get with lips. I always prep my lips with lip mo moisturizer first. This is my favorite. This is a Caudalie lip conditioner. And then if I decide to wear lipstick, I like them pretty nude. Jessie likes it bampy, but I like it nude. Uh, <laughs> um, so I have three different colors that I will usually always play with. Right now, I'm loving this. This is the new Tom Ford Lip Contour Duo. It's brand new. I guess Tom Ford, I, I was told by the sales associate that Tom Ford doesn't believe in lip liners, which doesn't make any sense, but like, okay, whatever your jam is. So I guess he ended up coming out with a product that has a lip liner. So th that's the lip liner. It's meant to be lighter than the actual lipstick itself. I'm really not quite sure why, but it works, you know? This is a very pretty color. Let me go swatch it. And that is the lipstick that it comes with. And let me swatch that too. So that's that. I'll insert an Instagram photo with me wearing the, this lipstick so you guys, you guys could kind of have an idea of how this lipstick looks like in, on me. I guess I could put it on right now, but I don't really want to put my lips on at the moment because I'm not working till later, till like for another couple of hours. Th what color is this one? This is in number one, public display. The other option that I like to use as my for lips as well is this right here, this combo. This is the Charlotte Tilbury in Iconic Nude Lip Liner. See, that's that one on the top. And then this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in stripped. That's the color right there. And sometimes I feel like it kind of looks a little too flat on me. So then I, I layer it with this Tom Ford lipstick, which I have no idea. I'm assuming it's just, I'm going to go by that number because that's the only thing I can understand is 41. And then it's right there on top. It's very nice, very creamy. I'll do the combo of those three right there. I will also insert an Instagram pic just so you have an idea of how that color lipstick looks. So yeah, that's basically my makeup. That's my pretty much my everyday makeup. My travel makeup, my everyday makeup, it's my makeup. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, and I'll see you guys in a bit.